uh, these two days of target 2030 have made crystal clear the need for bringing in management thinking into the social sector how we attract and retain top and diverse talent uh, the criticality of scale the role of technology in driving social change the use of data to do it and our evolving approach to the management and practice of philanthropy all different facets of the discipline that's development management and as any young discipline uh, development management needs to be nurtured strengthened established and that's where the global knowledge hub at istm comes in the global knowledge hub is at the heart of istm with an intent to disseminate contextual uh, practice driven knowledge around how social purpose organizations could be built led and managed to deliver sustainable impact at scale and to catalyze the creation of a whole ecosystem of development management around the world it's an architecture that holds within it centers focused on knowledge and research the collation and creation of sector relevant data the creation of case studies uh, the dissemination of knowledge artifacts and a newest initiative the centers of excellence the centers of excellence are incubated to create knowledge and at the same time push the envelope of each domain of development management they will carry out research establish an international ecosystem facilitate learning programs and knowledge exchanges co-create ideas and frameworks help build the definitive body of knowledge in that domain and effectively disseminate it worldwide and our very first coe is the center of philanthropy for social justice that would be just uh, talked about it's set up with the support of thought foundation it's an initiative to catalyze the practice of effective philanthropy for social justice and strengthen the broader philanthropic ecosystem locally and globally through knowledge uh we have kicked off the center uh, very recently uh, just a few months a uh, uh, few months ago Uh, with curating and building research and philanthropy for social justice uh, and engaging with key stakeholders um i'd like to request uh, anushmita to please share with us a video uh, that talks more about what cpsj is all about philanthropy in india continues to grow with domestic philanthropic streams expanding rapidly but India's most vexing social challenges continue to grow at a fast pace too. Indian philanthropy is slowly innovating and diversifying. This growth has however been in silos. The bulk of support goes to service delivery type interventions in education, health, sanitation, leaving other deep-rooted issues like human rights, environment, gender equality, livelihoods and governance with minimum support. And the repercussions are evident across the spectrum. have the ability to challenge imbalances of social and economic power can it empower the marginalized communities we at the center of philanthropy for social justice believe in a bolder version of philanthropy that addresses systemic causes of intertwined social issues that impact india's most vulnerable in many ways that focuses on finding and fixing the root cause than alleviating the symptoms The center seeks to engage with philanthropists, social sector practitioners, scholars, students, the communities in need, and other change makers to catalyze effective philanthropy for creating sustainable impact. We will one curate, create, and disseminate research on effective philanthropy. Two, design pragmatic tools and learning programs to enhance effectiveness of practitioners. Three. create partnerships and networks to build a community for philanthropy for social justice because as powerful as philanthropy is and has been it can play an even bigger role in creating a better tomorrow a truly inclusive one and every single action counts every single opinion matters 
and that includes yours. Thank you, Anishmita. Um, I'd now like to invite Mr. Samar Verma from the Ford Foundation to officially launch the Center of Philanthropy for Social Justice. Uh, Samar has over 25 years of multi-sector, multicultural and multinational work experience in strategic grant making with international donors, leading, undertaking and managing policy research and analysis in diverse sectors, catalyzing and managing regional collaborative learning networks and technical capacity building and peer mentoring of think tank leaders. He is a fellow in trade policy from the Harvard Business School and an economics graduate from Hindu, Hindu College. Over to you, Samar. Thank you, Trisha. Am I audible? Yes. Well, thank you very much, Trisha. What an amazing video it was. Um, it's a matter of great pride for us at Ford Foundation and it's indeed a personal honor to be invited to launch this Center on Philanthropy for Social Justice at the uh, ISPM. The current model of growth has created unprecedented wealth and opportunity in the last century. But as we know, it's done it only for the few. It is time and indeed urgent that we reimagine this paradigm of development towards building a sustainable, inclusive, equitable and affordable development model which is fit for this century a point which was so eloquently made by the keynote speaker yesterday, Mr. Chris Gopalakrishnan. As uh, Mr. Manjul, Manjul also highlighted a little earlier in his keynote address, a key responsibility for this paradigm reimagination lies with philanthropy. Gautam Jamal has already shared this quote, but I, it remains a corner stone and a moral compass for a lot of work we do at the Ford Foundation. So perhaps it's worth repeating. Martin Luther King said that philanthropy is commendable, but it must not cause the philanthropist to overlook the circumstances of economic injustice which make philanthropy necessary. This belief has been at the core of Ford Foundation's mission and philosophy. We have long recognized that effective and meaningful philanthropy is as much about dousing the fire of hunger and poverty today as it is about addressing the deep structural and long-term causes that underlie the systemic poverty and inequality in the first place. As you, you know, your video very rightly points out. We, therefore, visualize this center precisely as a catalyst of this practice of effective philanthropy for social justice that strengthens the broader philanthropic ecosystem locally as well as globally through knowledge creation, sharing, education, alliance building, all of which the video very ably highlighted. Thus, in cultivating the shift in the philanthropy from what essentially has been a charity mindset and moving towards you know, what may be called as a justice mindset, ultimately we would like this center to make its contribution towards reimagining that paradigm of development for the 21st century that works for all and which leaves no one behind. This center would eventually, we hope, feed into building and strengthening the voice, agency and credibility of the philanthropic sector as a whole, something that uh, Mr. Swamitra Pandey was talking about a little bit earlier. Interestingly, and very in a very opportune way, being located within the larger ecosystem of teaching in a development management institution as it does, the center also offers a unique opportunity to inform teaching and nurturing of young talent, equipped with the values, as well as the tools. And values is something that I emphasize more. So values as well as tools to build an equitable, inclusive and just world where everyone prospers. We know how critical is the role of leadership. I am therefore especially delighted to mention our confidence in the commitment and caliber of the entire leadership of the center. In particular, the academic director, Dr. Lata Punamali. I must also say that uh, I've enjoyed working with and have immense confidence in the, in the caliber and the confidence and dedication of uh, Dr. Trisha Verma, Ms. Urvi Shriram, as well as the wider faculty who are associated with the ISD ecosystem. Uh, and in that context, 
allow me to also make a special mention of Mr. Ravi Sridharan, a founding member of ISDM, for the inspiration and commitment that he brings to the idea of this center. It's an old African saying, if you want to walk fast, walk alone. But if you want to walk far, take others along. The stellar group of huge variety of stakeholders that this ISDM conference Target 2030 has brought together is a testimony to the commitment to taking everyone along. I personally look forward to being part of this journey that takes us all far and together. I once again congratulate the entire team and its leadership and express my gratitude at the launch of this center, which is perhaps the first and only one of its kind, certainly in this part of the world. With my very best wishes, greetings to all of you. I thank you again for this time.